If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in the video where you can see how to work with some of properties of your data, bell, data block in your PLC. Okay, first we open some data block and here you can see we have created three wa variables, one of integer, real and double integer data type. We define some start values of these variables. Okay, when we define these <coughs> start values, we download these changes to the CPU. For this, we use CPU 1215. Okay, we load the changes. Now we can go online with data block. How we can see, we have defined the start values of the variables and the actual values of these variables, we have zeros. When we click on the load start values as actual values, you can copy start values of the variables to the monitor values. This means to the actual values of the data block variables. <coughs> okay, we click on the OK button on this information window. And now how you can see, you copy the start values to the actual values of variables. Okay, <clears throat> now for example, we change some values. For example, variable one, and for example, we change the value of variable three with name value three. Okay, we change some values. Okay, how we can see these values in CPU. And now by clicking on the snapshot icon, you can create the snapshot of the actual values of the data block variables. Here you can see some information about this snapshot. This means you can copy the actual values to your offline project. How you can see snapshot is created in this day, date and the time. And also you can see the values of the snapshot in your data block. Now, for example, we all again change some actual values of the data block variables. And we do it for this to see. For now, we can also load snapshots as actual values. Snapshot, what we created, we load to the actual values of the data block variables. For example, 59 go to value one. Okay, we click on OK button. Now again, click on the OK button. And how we can see, we have snapshot values in the actual values of the variables. Also, we can copy snapshots to start values of the data block variables. For example, we again change some values, creating the new snapshot. Yes, how we can see the actual values are copied to the snapshot. And now we copy snapshot to start values of data block. Click on the icon. Click on the OK button in this warming window. 
and now how we can see all snapshots values is now copied in start values of data block variables we save it download it to the plc click on the load button wait some time now we again open the data block and now how we can see start values are in the monitor values and these are the values which are from snapshot which was created okay this is all for these videos where you can see some properties of your data block in your plc thank you for watching goodbye